بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back to our interactive machine translation for Arabic This is the second lecture and this is the real beginning of our workshop In this lecture we will be learning how to work with translog files and how to download the project from Dropbox and how to do the required tasks whether, the, whether they are copying, post editing or translation from a scratch Then we will see how to save the work as XML file uh, with your serial number and then edit the XML file to add the language tag and upload the XML file back to the Dropbox folder. To download your project file please go to your Dropbox home page on this link click on Arabic IMT folder then on project data and locate your folder for example, my serial number is 16, then I will click on this. These are the projects, for example, I will select this one as a demo, then I will download it. I will locate it in the downloads for the ease of uh, work. I will copy it to the desktop. Now open this project with translog user. This is the translog user interface. Open, select the file, click open. The software is ready now for recording our events. Click on start login. This text should be typed here so I will start typing that I will pause the recording until I finish typing, then I will resume that. Now I finished typing this. As you can see, in the copying task, there is no need for the sentences to be aligned. And now, after I finished, I will click on Stop Login. A prompt will appear whether to save the log file or not. I will choose Yes. And the type of file is XML so I will save this file with my serial number which is Arabic P16 underscore C1 R1 and I will save it in the desktop save and this is the confirmation message that the log file has been saved successfully. Here it is. And now I would like to edit this file to add the language tag. You can edit with text editor or preferably with Notepad++. Notepad++ is uh, uh, good for Arabic. Notepad++ is preferred because it supports Arabic language and the right to left text direction which is absent in most of text editors. And if you prefer to install it, then this is the download link. There it is. You can download for 32-bit or for 64-bit depending on the type of your operating system. So right click and I will select edit with notepad++. 
in line 17 you will find this lock windows false lock windows false then make a new line copy this line and click here then press ctrl b after that you have to save uh, if you wonder what translog does is this it records each and every keystroke in the screen whether it is mouse action or key action and it starts from time zero and it divides each second into a hundred thousand parts and in after 10 seconds for example I inserted la then alif then la then I treated them then I typed ta then ta then fa then qaf then space and so on and so on it goes on and on until the text is complete and now this is the end of events and this is the final text and, and these are metadata of the characters we typed in and uh, so after finishing this click exit and you can click also you can exit translog uh, the XML file is now ready for upload to the Dropbox. Still I am in the same folder. This is my folder, Arabic P16. What I will do is to select upload files. And uh, I will select this, Arabic P116 underscore C1R1. Then I will click open uploading Arabic P1 ok uploading is complete and that's it we have to repeat these steps with the five remaining files and please pay attention to the type of the task if it is copying then you have to copy and if it is post editing you have to post edit the translation which has been produced by Google Translate and if it is a translation then you uh, have to translate from scratch and type your translation uh, there i would like please don't leave translog open for a long time when you start working on a file please work until the end and do not leave it open and go away from your computer if you finished all these tasks, then congratulations, you completed phase one of this workshop. Uh, I will be posting also videos on how to do uh, post editing and how to do translation. Uh, see you in the next segment. Thank you.